we transformed the business in 2019. Starting 2018, we sort of put the plan together. But um, we had to respond to growing competition in the market. And interestingly enough, the competition came from China directly via AliExpress. So you know the company Alibaba. Absolutely. It's like the Amazon of China, five, six hundred billion dollar company. Um, they have an arm called AliExpress. And AliExpress is like their US, their US online shopping store where you can buy stuff directly from factories as a consumer. And so people here started buying cheap ass shitty hair from the chi directly from these Chinese factories off of AliExpress. Um, but they'd be selling it for like half the price. And so it started to drive the prices down and compress the margins for hair in, uh, for most of us who had hair, hair based businesses here. So, um, which made it harder for our stylists to sell. So we looked at it and we came up with um, we came up with a plan where um, we would start selling hair combined with the service. So we looked at what is it that we have that no one else has that we can do with no one, something that no one else can do. And so of all the people like selling hair, Maven is the only one that also has a network of beauty professionals. So we looked at that side of the business and said, okay, well, there's the services side of the business where they, where, you know, the hair might cost 250, but you got to also pay 250 to get it installed. So the hair is only half of the equation. What can we do on this side? And then when we look at that side, we realized that there were, there's an oversupply of hairstylists who were all fighting over customers. And so the average number of clients that each stylist had is actually very low. And, but their price is high. Mm -hmm. So we're like, that's off. Then you, then you're charging 250, but you might be only doing like four or five people in a month. And so the idea was how much lower would they do it for if I can give them 40 clients a month? I can have you making more money than you were before through volume and keep you busy and booked if we adjust these prices. And so we went to all our stylists, we pre-selected who were the best ones. We adjusted the pricing, bundled that into the cost of the hair so, so now you can buy the hair for the same price that it was always, but the install will be included for free. And Maven pays, it, Maven pays the stylist for that. And we're able to still make money on this, on this offering. And so it's a tremendous deal to the customer. Now it's like half price for the customer um, with way better quality, guarantees, brand, faster delivery, customer service, everything. Um, at the same or lower price than you could buy it from from the factories, and Maven is still able to make margin on that. And the stylists are making more money now than they were before. Yeah, because now they have value. Now they have volume, and we're just funneling the new clients every single day because clients are like, "Oh shit, hair and service for the price of shit." I'll, let me go. So, where, where are the clients learning about this program? Are they learning about it through the stylists themselves? No, that's actually interesting because in this model, we flipped around the marketing model. So before, stylists were the ones that acquired the customer. Mm -hmm. Now, we do the marketing to the customer and acquire the customer for the stylist. So we flipped it around. And now, if you think about what Maven is today, the way that we talk about Maven today is we're a digital uh, salon brand. So we have thousands of Maven certified stylists across the country in every state. You can come to this salon online. You can book a service. You can buy products. 
or you can buy products and services together. And all of these things are at fantastic prices with, with guaranteed quality um, and everything. And, and the business since launching that, like back in 19, it was doubling. It was doubling. So like we were, we were fucking killing it before and then COVID came and just fucking knocked us off. Got the like our rocker. So, um, but actually, you know, since, you know, since, uh, as COVID has continued, you know, the customer has just shown that like, you're just not going to stop her from getting her hair done. Like, yeah, no, that's well, you're just not going to stop that. And so actually the business is, is bounced back actually pretty well. So we 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 survived this whole storm, and I think we're actually gonna be a lot better on the other side than we were coming in. Now that's one thing about you know all black women, they're gonna get their hair done. Like yeah. that's one thing yeah. that is is going to happen. Facts. Yeah. Um, amazing story, incredibly inspirational. Um, I, I I love your story. I'm so happy you gave us some time on our show. Where can people find you? Um. I'm on Instagram at Deshaun I, D-I-I-S-H-A-N-I. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.